From this week on, our church worship services and classes are open to all worshippers, regardless of vaccination status. There's also no longer a need to book tickets or to use safe entry. So I want to encourage you to return for physical worship. Now, who are those, the heroes of your life, your role models? Because our heroes shape our imagination of what our lives can be and often inspires us to be more than what we are. In our culture today, we often celebrate entrepreneurs, celebrities and sports stars for their successes and talents. And perhaps subconsciously, that is what we aspire to become. Now, the purpose of this series in May is to introduce individuals who served and followed Jesus with distinction. We'll be studying the lives of the individuals and how the Bible verses had impacted their lives and thus ours today. Each text either illustrates the life of the person or had impacted him or her. And so as we study these heroes of the faith, as a community, as a church, may we also become part of this cloud of witnesses of Christ's followers for those who come after us. But more importantly, may our eyes be drawn to the ultimate hero of scripture and of history, Jesus Christ. Philip Yancy shares, I've come to know a God whose son made prodigals the heroes of his stories and the trophies of his ministries. Indeed, we are all trophies of God's grace, some more dramatically than others. Jesus came for the sick and not the well, for the sinner and not the righteous. He came to redeem and transform, to make all things new. Hebrews 12 verse 1, Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so in easily entangles us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen.